Our 2013 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Go further. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at CES 2013, and I'm joined by Dan Fung. Dennis, how are you, man? Good, how are you? Not bad. This is some really wicked technology. Walk me through it. What is Condition 1? Condition One is a tech startup. We're combining advanced 3D graphics with high resolution video to create powerful immersive experience. And we've just launched the Condition One app for iPhone and iPad. And what it is is a very high resolution video that takes um, a 3D dome, imagine a sphere cut in half, and we texture map video onto that 3D dome and tie it to the gyroscopes and accelerometer of the device to create a virtual window into the experience. Um, so what would I need to record something like this? You can use uh, any high resolution camera. The higher res, the better. Uh, we use RED cameras. You can use any video enabled DSLR or even a GoPro. And so you say you project this, I mean virtually uh, speaking, to like uh, a curved mesh in 3D space as you could imagine. Uh, first of all, how do we know what that curvature needs to be based on the camera and, and uh, what kind of field of view works best with this? Right, so we want to use lenses that capture 180 degrees of video. Um, and so we use a very wide angle circular fisheye lens on very high resolution cameras. And then we uh, play it back in a quad 720p video player. It's actually four 720p videos playing simultaneously. And then you can actually manipulate the video by actually touching the screen and looking around the video as it's playing, or even moving the device around. And you can look inside the video from multiple different angles by just simply moving it. It's something you really have to try. So what does this to me, mean to me as a consumer? Like, can I go ahead and start shooting my video blog adventures on a motorcycle with a GoPro now, uh, and then somehow convert them into this app so that I can spin them around, or, or how does that work? Right now, we're licensing our software to media companies, brands, agencies, anyone that's creating compelling content for their mobile and web audiences. And so right now we are supporting GoPros and coming soon will be a, an application that will allow any consumer to create their own immersive video. So there's a bunch of different cameras out there with different field of view. How does this adapt to those? Because if it is projecting it onto a, like a, a curved 3D mesh, that's going to like really feel weird if it's on the wrong kind of, uh, uh, if it's not calibrated to the FOV. So we create custom meshes for every sensor and lens combination. So we recommend a certain number of different types of cameras, and we create that mesh for every type of camera. So for the GoPro, we create a certain type of 3D model, and we remove all the distortion from a GoPro video, and then allow you to interact with it. And so if I'm uh, sh shooting this and I, and I start spinning this around, this, is, this seriously looks like some of the awesome roads that I used to uh, ride in Virginia. But I get to the edge here, and I just see black. Are there any plans to add multiplexing for, or not multiplexing, but stitching, like live video switching, uh, stitching for multiple camera sources to create a full 360? Yeah, so we were very interested in 360, but we want to make sure that this is very easy for the content creator. So we've kept this to a single sensor, single lens solution. And while we could just do two cameras back to back to create 360, we want to keep the workflow completely seamless. So we think 180 degrees and focusing all the resolution in front of the viewer is the most effective way to create an immersive experience. And so how can a viewer go out right now and kind of see a demo of this? You can just download the Condition One app in the App Store, and uh, it's available for iPad and for iPhone. All right, thank you so much. For continued coverage of all things CES 2013, be sure to head over to revision3.com. Did you know that Sync comes with an optional voice-activated navigation system? It does, and I'll be honest with you, I use this thing every single day because I still don't know the Bay Area very well. It gets me to and from my best friend's house. I can even set favorites such as home, and it tells me everything I need to know over the audio system speakers. Navigation, please say a command. Destination home. Destination home. Thanks again to Ford for powering this Hack 5 CES special.